What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and we have some super exciting news for you all. As you can tell by the title, Invader Zim is officially coming back in the form of a TV movie. And it's gonna be a 90 minute movie at that, which is really cool, not just an hour long one. This is super exciting. There were whispers of this happening uh, back in November, but this is now officially confirmed. Nickelodeon released a uh, press release. They released a press release, a little redundant. Uh, yeah, they had a press release and it's, it's official, it's happening. It's going to be happening, we don't know when, <laughs> hopefully pretty soon, but what's really exciting about it is the original creator, Jonah Vasquez, is going to be involved in the project reportedly and all of the original voice cast as well, so it looks like Zim is finally going to be getting the continuation it deserves. This is really exciting stuff. If you've never watched Invader Zim, because I know we have some young people in the channel, um, it, it's, it was such an amazing show. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, it, it was pretty disturbing. It got canceled due to low ratings in 2002. It came out in 2001. So it didn't have that long of a run, unfortunately. But um, later, like years later, after it got canceled, it actually got a lot of popularity. Like it became a cult classic. Um, if you've ever stepped in a hot topic, you would know that. <laughs> this is not a secret. Um, but it was an amazing show, really brilliant, uh, satirical, and it was super disturbing, which I think was part of the reason it got canceled. Some kids were probably turned off by it. And even to this day, I don't believe it has an official rating so that's how like weird and off and kind of dark that show is um but it really is it really was a really great show hilarious absurd um and just ridiculous so this is basically going to be following in the footsteps of hey arnold and rock modern life if you didn't know those shows are also getting tv movies hey arnold's uh, jungle movie will be coming out later this year and it will be continuing on with the story of hey arnold and giving us a fresh final conclusion and uh, rock modern life will also be a continuation we don't know when that that's coming out, but that is in production right now. So the Zim movie will probably come out after Rock is Modern Life. Um, we have no idea when. If I had to guess, it, I'd say probably three-ish years, I feel like, would be the, the uh, optimal time to do that. Um, but this is really cool because all those shows are direct continuations. They're not reboots. So this isn't like a Powerpuff Girls or Teen Titans Go type of situation. This is like an official like continuation of these shows, which is really great because we had a lot of questions, especially with Hey Arnold, just like cliffhangers um, that kind of left us in the dark. Innovator Zim, I feel like, deserved a true conclusion as well. So that's really exciting stuff. It is kind of sad, though, to see that Nickelodeon sort of needs to rely on older properties, as excited as I am, and I can't complain about them. Um, I do wish Nickelodeon had some newer stuff that, you know, was really creative and kind of inspired people and had as much of a cultural impact as some of their older shows did back in the day. Um, they have Loud House, but that's pretty much all they have going for them at the moment, unfortunately. Hopefully they can fix that. Hopefully this will kind of inspire them to take more risks and do more creative, interesting, new things that appeals to kids and adults alike because that's what they used to do. You know, the shows from the 90s and early 2000s, like my dad and my uncles, and they would enjoy those shows because they were well-written, they were funny, or they were action-packed or whatever. And, uh, you know, people still watch them today and they still hold up because they were really good shows. Whereas the newer shows, I feel like they are directly shooting towards children who don't really know any better for the most part. Obviously, Loud House is a very good show. Um, but yeah, hopefully they, this will inspire them to realize what they had back in the day and realize there is a reason besides just nostalgia that people enjoy these shows so much is because they were really genuinely well written and had a lot of effort put into them. So hopefully this will be the start of something really great for Nickelodeon because they were the kings back in the day and it's sad to see them just kind of die out. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm really excited for this movie. What do you guys think? Are you happy to see this come back? Are you a little concerned that the network might kind of try to take creative control? Control away, you know, it won't be the same Zim that you remember. Um, and what other shows would you guys like to see uh, get rebooted or redone or continued by Nickelodeon? Older Nickelodeon shows from the 90s, early 2000s. Let us know in the comments down below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more animation news. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.